hi people i am going to get a copyright strike for this reading but it is what it is i've decided to straight up channel um what's his name um i need to straight up channel um biggie smalls right so that i'm just going to straight up channel him and I'm going to use his favorite person in the world, CC, and he's going to tell us the story of what happens to him. So this is going to be like a conversation, but hey, this is my gift. And this is what I have been doing all my life. And there's, the tools have only just made me stronger. And I will go back to my tools again because I kind of miss them. And I'm emotionally attached. But in this instance, at this period in my time, in this life, right now, I am going to channel this. Because I tried to do it via water. It's not working because it's dead. So I am going to, uh, yes, water only works for the living. And I, I packed all my shells and I packed all my makeup and I packed all my clothes and I packed everything that has anything to do with this. And I'm not going to unpack it because that's like eight to nine suitcases. I can't even remember where I put them. And then on top of all that jazz, I have got um, the move. It's been very hard on my soul. And I'm just not where I should be. But psychically, I am exactly where I am. So welcome to the party. There's no boards today. There's just me in my in my wig, which is not a bad wig. This is a cool wig. It's my favorite wig. There's just me with the wig that I saved from um, the suitcases. And there's just me, my God, my ancestors, and my gift. And we are going to talk to Biggie Smalls. No, no fanfare, no nothing. I'm just going to talk to this energy that is Biggie without any tools. I even packed my camera. So now I, I don't even remember where it is. And a couple of suitcases got lost. Mm, such as life. Anyway, welcome to the seance. The seance of Biggie Smalls. Water would not allow me to read him, like I said, because I tried with water before. I failed. Water does not read dead people. So now I see. Now I understand. Now I get it. I will be doing this conversationally because that's how I do it. I usually have someone leading me and guiding me with questions when I channel, but I don't have any of my students available. It's just me. It's just me. Me and Biggie and CC. So I'm going to start with the song because that's the song I was listening to when he popped up the first time. Okay. I'm really pushing through because I want to not because I'm kind of exhausted, but I cannot lose my Patreons. I cannot because you are my only paycheck right now. <laughs> I cannot. So I have to push through to entertain. I have to. I have to keep providing. And lots of people will say, why didn't you provide before? Lots of people are going to say that. Why didn't you do this before? I, I couldn't. It was very hard for me. I took too long to get ready because I was busy doing other things. And that's why I have closed off readings. I've closed off readings. I need the money, but I don't have the time anymore. Making the leap from America to Africa and intending to stay there is a hell of a lot of work. And I have to come back this side a few times before i'm actually settled on that side and i do not have the money but this morning i just said god will provide the end you know the end so let us begin this um say hunting just me the way i was born okay and the rocking begins that always begins whatever okay cc cc brought um this song of CC and so CC's energy, it brought um, Biggie Smalls to me. I was thinking about him and then I decided to play the CC song and then all of a sudden, there he was, right? So I'm going to listen to it as I call him.
Piggy. Okay, so it was I see that CC was a family friend. It was I see the genuine love that existed between the little boy Biggie and CC. He's very attached to her. He wanted a wife just like her. I saw her lifting him up when he was very young and hugging him. They had that kind of relationship of auntie and nephew, and it's amazing that only in the metaphysical do you see real true relationships i mean who knew who would have even thought it possible but this woman was gutted at the death of this boy and this woman's voice moves this boy he says she's the reason i went into music but i couldn't sing like her so i had to do my own thing ladies and gentlemen please welcome biggie biggie has the lightest soul I have caught in a very, very, very long time. He is extremely light. He's coming from a happy place, a peaceful place, because he believes in God. Let me say, let me let him say it with his own words. Because I believed in God, always did, always will. Auntie CC would never have allowed me to be otherwise. She's a true believer. And I believed in God. And you know, hey, it was easy for me to believe in God. I was born in privilege. I never had to worry about anything. We were good money-wise. I had the best of everything. And I lived a good life all the way. It's easy for me. So I never went to bed without praying. Whether I did it loudly or quietly, I never went to bed without praying. And I looked for strength in God and it actually gave me great mental health in the business. Great mental health in the business. Okay. So where he is coming from is an airy place. He is standing in front of me wearing a gray shirt, a long gray shirt that goes down to his thighs and, and, and pants. I can't make out what the pants are like, to be honest, and I don't care to go there. But he is, um, he is like smoking. He's been smoking for a while. He's smoking, I think it's ganja, but it may look like it's something else, but I think it's ganja. So he is smoking and he is just like chilling. He says, I don't feel any physical pain anymore. Because I was so big, I couldn't breathe. But, you know, I tried to lose weight and I couldn't do it. I had health problems. So, you know, I was always in some kind of pain or other, carrying that amount of you around. And he laughs. Carrying that amount of you around, man, that is too much. That is just too much. I was too much. I was too much. But, you know. Now I can carry this amount of me. It's a, I'm a lightweight now. Regardless, I'm a lightweight. I'm shocked that I'm dead. I never expected to die. I don't believe it was in my timeline. And I don't believe it was in my time. Why do you say that you don't believe it was in your, in your timeline to die young and it wasn't in your time? Because there was no one to welcome me. There was no one on the other side. I was shocked. The other side was shocked. Nobody knew what to do with where I was concerned, nobody knew what to do with me, where I was concerned. And then eventually it was all sorted out and this is where I ended up. And where did you end up in your opinion? Heaven. I ended up in my heaven. I don't know what heaven is, but this is my heaven. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm relaxed. I'm cool. But I still miss 
being alive. Men, you don't take advantage of being alive enough when you are alive. You have no idea how much you miss it when you're on this side. Why? It's the same thing. Every day. Same thing. Every day. What do you do that is the same? I walk and smoke and walk. Walk. Something I hated while I was alive. But I walk. By choice or you are being forced to? By choice. I walk. Sometimes I walk into the wild, wild west. And I watch what's going on there. Hmm. What do you mean? He's literally showing me him standing by some outpost. Time is on top of each other. And everything is happening at the same time. So I can choose which era to go to. When something happens, it continues to happen. Oh my God, now I'm confused. When something happens, it continues to happen. You may have moved from that time, but it continues to happen. So, basically, I'm stopping it so that I can make sense of what he just said. Okay, time loops. Time loops, that's the best I can make. He's showing me, but... Okay, so you walk into different time zones. He says, yeah. And I just, you know, observe and walk into the next time zone, which has been your worst period to see. Slavery, man. Worst period. Which is your fun period to see. 2035. Wow. Why 2035? Peace. There'll be peace on earth. No more guns. No more guns. No more guns. There'll be peace. It's just for a small period of time before it begins again. But it's it's a peaceful moment. A peaceful moment. Before what begins again? Wars. Where did humanity be is war? Okay, besides that what else do you do with your day over there hmm. where i am there's no sex there's no flirting there's nothing like that there is no torture there is no rest period but nobody needs any rest because no one is tired there is just making things happen in what way baby well, you know, if you're really not liking the little bit of what you are seeing and if you have the power to change that time period, you can tweak it a little bit, tweak, 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 and you're, <laughs> you're, done. you're good to go. <laughs> tweak, but that's being naughty. We're not allowed to do that, but that's just being naughty, you know. So you kind of walk from timeline to timeline trying to see what you can change, if you can change it. Fun. It's a gamble. It's fun. What do you miss the most about being alive? The sun, man. The sun is magic. Over here, there's no sun. There is light, but there's no sun. What's so special about the sun, baby? What is so special about the sun that you people love it so much? What's so special about it? Like every time I talk to someone who's going to be at the side, they always say they miss the sun. I think we say it as a metaphorical thing. This guy is, is okay, carry on. I think we say it as a metaphor. I don't think we say it as I miss the sun. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for days ending, the day coming to an end, days ending, 
new possibilities new things over here you pretty much know that what you did today you're gonna do tomorrow you're gonna do the next day you're gonna do the next day do you see other people that you know So if you're tired, yes, and I'm using a lot of energy with you. Do you see a lot of other people there who died that you know? He says, nope, not me. I haven't met anyone yet. So how did you get there? I don't know. I was wandering around in shock, bleeding, and a voice said, you don't have to bleed anymore. So you, st you should stop it. So I stopped it. I said, stop bleeding. I stopped bleeding. Then I thought I was going to wake up on some hospital table. And then I realized after a while, no. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I'll be back.